A study wants to investigate whether there is a difference in the proportion of customers who purchase a certain product between two different stores. They randomly sampled 200 customers from store 1 and 200 customers from store 2. The results are shown in the two-way table below. So store 1, 80 people preferred the product and 120 preferred the other, making the total surveyed 200. In store 2, 120 preferred the product and 80 preferred the other, and again the total is 200. And then if we add up both of the all of the columns, we get 200, 200, and 400, respectively. At a 5% significance level, is there sufficient evidence to conclude that there is a difference in the proportion of customers who purchase the product between the two stores? Is it yes and reject the null hypothesis? Is it yes and fail to reject the null hypothesis? Is it no and reject the null hypothesis? Or is it no? fail to reject the null hypothesis. Well, first let's start with creating the null and alternative hypotheses for this, um, for this scenario. So our null hypothesis will be that the proportion of customers who purchase a certain product is the same for both stores. And our alternative hypothesis is that the proportion of customers who purchase a certain product is different for both stores. And then what we can do is we can take our table and create our expected values. So that's found by multiplying the product total times store one total and dividing by the grand total 400. So that's 200 times 200 divided by 400. And that goes for this first column. For the second column, we would again do 200 times 200 divided by 400. 200 times 200 divided by 400. And when performing each of these operations, we end up getting a value of 100 for each expected value there. And then we can also, like as I said, we calculated the expected and it's 100 for every single cell because it's the same exact uh, multiplication and division problem going on. And now for the actual values from the table here. We have 80 and 120 for that first column, and then we have 120 and 80 for the second column. And again, we have 100 for all of the expected values. And then if we substitute all of these values in to our summation formula, we will end up having 80 minus 100 quantity squared divided by 100 plus 100 20 minus 100 squared divided by 100 plus 120 minus 100 quantity squared divided by 100 plus 80 minus 100 quantity squared over 100. And when we evaluate these, we end up getting 16. And the degrees of freedom is 2 minus 1, or the row total, and it is 2, subtract 1, and the column total. Um, minus 1 is 2 minus 1, so we have 1 times 1, which is equal to 1. And then if we were to run the chi-square test on our calculator, so we go to second vars, which has distribution above it, we're doing chi-square CDF. We have the lower value that we calculated was 16 for chi-square. The upper is the total number of people, 400. The degrees of freedom is 1. And then when we calculate it, it's 6.33 times 10 to the negative fifth. So that means it is equal to 633. And since this value is definitely below the significance level by a lot, we can most definitely reject the null hypothesis because of it. So the correct answer to this question is A.